Hey everybody, <laughs> it's Alexis and Christian, Tiny House Expedition, what's happening? We are in beautiful Woodland Park, Colorado. We've come down off the mountain a little bit, we're now at about 8,600 feet. My lungs are feeling so full of oxygen <laughs> after being at over 10,000 feet <laughs> in Leadville. Check out last week's episode of today's Tiny House Parking Spot. And today we're at Peak View Park, which is a full-time year-round tiny house on wheels and park model community. And it's in the super cute little town of Woodland Park, which is only 30 minutes from Colorado. There's all kinds of fun outdoor stuff to do around here, lots of trails, and fun things in town like a classic car show <laughs> that we just attended with the owners, uh, Pete and Matt. I got to see my dream car from when I was younger. It's a classic Bronco jacked up on big wheels. It's a lot of fun. And I saw many, many Camaros that I liked. So that was that's that's my muscle car that I would love to have. <laughs> so we want to show you around Peak View today. Um, we're in a temporary spot. This will be the future home of somebody else, another tiny house or park model here. Um, you're going to see these spots are pretty big. There's room for big decks, side gardens. Oh. Cool. It's pretty spectacular, terraced, um, it looks like a mountain village. Yeah. So let's show you guys around. Yeah, let's go check it out. So this is our new neighbor's tiny home. Her name is Sandra. And when we pulled in, she brought us over a bottle of wine, which was really sweet and a great way to meet a new neighbor. And she actually just moved in several months ago after her daughter's family downsized and moved to a tiny home here. And then she caught the tiny bug and moved in into this adorable little place. Um, and it's a really great neighbor to have. It's, we really love having neighbors. And one thing that we've noticed here is that the neighbors do a lot of walking around the park. There's a lot of talking, a lot of interaction. So there's a real tight knit community feel here. <laughs> and lots of dogs. <laughs> <laughs> there's tons of dogs. I think everybody must own a dog oh, here. Just about, yeah. Oh, this is our new friend, Mary's house. She has a beautiful sanctuary. Smells like soothing essential oils inside and out. And she lives here with her little dog. And she gave us a tour, which will be coming out in the future of her uh, tiny home that she moved into after her husband passed away. And she gave us a really touching interview yesterday about how this place has made her so happy and filled her heart. Um, in a way that she didn't think was going to be possible. So very sweet. So she has got an awesome like deck. Look, like Alexa said, sanctuary. She's got this beautiful garden and she's done a few things to discourage the deer who frequent the area from eating her flowers. She's been pretty successful. Our neighbor Sandra has been a little less successful. So she's working on fencing strategies mm -hmm. Because wildlife happens here. Deer, uh, bears, foxes. Don't get too scared about the bears. No, that seems like a downside, but not too bad if you have the appropriate fencing. And you'll see a neighbor up here actually has surveillance cameras just for the wildlife. All of Peak View is built on a hillside, so it's terraced. Um, there are tiny houses on various levels, which allows a lot of uh, residents to have beautiful views of Pikes Peak, which is what Peaks View is named after. You get to see the beautiful Pikes Peak, which is one of the tallest mountains in Colorado. And as you can see, there's a couple of tiny houses behind me that are overlooking the ledge here. A lot of them have decks that are built over the ledge, um, which creates for amazing outdoor living space and spectacular views. This beautiful tiny house behind me has one of those spectacular decks we were telling you about that um, comes off the terrace and has a beautiful view. What I really like about Peak View is the variety of homes. So there's something for everybody. There are still a small selection of RVs here. There's tiny houses, you know, which are on wheels, which are typically, you know, 300 square feet and less. And there's park models that go up to 399 feet. 
that are wider and sometimes have downstairs bedrooms. So whatever your need, there's a home for you here. You can bring your own home or you can work with them and they're a great park model manufacturer to create your dream tiny home. And the other thing I really like about the diversity here are there are singles, families, young couples, retirees. It runs a whole gamut. There's multiple families, not just tiny house families, but like Sandra, there's another uh, daughter, father who live right next to e each other here, which I think is really sweet. So as we visit different neighbors here, we're always saying, I think you have the best spot. And then we visit somebody else and we're like, no, you have the best spot. There's so many good spots here. It's really hard to decide, but I do love how you're able to have a yard um, or deck or both, you know, so the homes are somewhat close together, but they don't feel on top of each other because everyone has their private space and then it has space to interact with neighbors, which is how you create that community feel. And so this house behind me is actually Jeff and Shannon's house. And the cool thing that they did was uh, a really rad fence over here. So they have a lot, a lot of yard. And they've done things like put up a retaining wall to actually make their yard a little bit bigger, which is amazing. And at some point they're actually gonna put a deck that goes out to even create more space. But if you come this way, you can see that they're starting to make their house look like a, uh, a Swiss chalet. Here's another great example of what you can do with your yard space. You can fence it off entirely or you can keep it open like this lovely house over here with their flower garden. So the deal here is that you bring in or buy a tiny home and then you pay a lot rent. There are still a few lots available so contact them quick. The owners also have a couple other properties in the works including one tiny home community on foundation that's going to be fabulous and it's going to be fully built to residential code. And that's also right in Woodland Park. So there's all kinds of tiny living opportunities here. But if you already have a house, you're looking for parking, contact these guys quick. You can't beat the location for access to jobs, city, mountains, so much going on here. We highly recommend that you give it a look. How adorable is this tiny house? I absolutely love it. It's kind of got a retro feel and inside, apparently we haven't been in yet, but we've heard it's got all retro appliances, super cute. The lady loves the classic design and style. Uh, she's a newer resident here and she's backed up to this really adorable courtyard of other tiny homes. There's quite a few tumbleweeds here and they're actually a local Colorado builder. Of course, you know them. They're one of the biggest names out there in the tiny house world. And this cool tiny house, this butterfly roof, is a sprout tiny home. They're also another Colorado-based builder who's trying to get a couple communities going. So they're another parking option potentially for you. Nothing available as of yet. As you guys all know, parking opportunities are difficult because of zoning, building code restrictions, the list goes on and on. This property really lucked out because they were grandfathered in. It was an old RV mobile home park that the owners bought and fixed up. I mean, it took them five years to get us to this beautiful place that they are now. And they're not done, they're, keep, they're doing more landscaping, more site work. It's only gonna get better and better here. And we're really excited to be here and we're excited to have neighbors over later because you guys know how we love tiny house neighbors. So we're gonna have a tiny house party later and have some of these guys over to our place. <laughs> She's forcing me to get in the shape. I yeah. think living here would be in pretty good shape. Yeah. Two thumbs up for that. Yeah, it's definitely a little hilly. <laughs> So, this is 
This is the cool place we're parked. Peak View in Woodland Park, Colorado. Mm -hmm. The first full-time legal tiny home community in all of Colorado. It's this pretty sweet parking spot. Yep. See you guys next week. Take it easy. <laughs> hey guys, Alexis and Christian here with Tiny House Expedition. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And click left or right for more tiny house stories and tours.